Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Reef Health Update. The Bureau of Meteorology has confirmed that in March, sea surface temperatures on the Great Barrier Reef were in the top 10% of records since 1900 for the northern and parts of the central reef. The temperature was also above average in the southern reef, but not by as much. Over the last week, sea surface temperatures have been fairly stable, but the long-term average for April is lower than the average for March, and therefore the anomalies are now higher than they were last month. At the moment, there are anomalies of between one and two degrees centigrade above average throughout most of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. In water observations of bleaching across multiple regions of the Marine Park or showing very great variability, both in the severity of bleaching of individual colonies, whether or not there is coral mortality, and the depth range of coral bleaching impacts. An increasing number of surveys are showing completely white colonies and coral mortality in the areas where heat stress accumulation has been the worst through a broad area of the central Great Barrier Reef. Despite the fact that summer is over a month behind us, this coral bleaching event is still unfolding and we are working with our partners to prioritize a subset of reefs for further in-water surveys to get a better understanding of the intensity of this bleaching event and the impacts to individual coral colonies. As with every summer, the final outcome of this bleaching event in terms of coral mortality will only be known after the next round of long-term monitoring surveys by the Australian Institute of Marine Science. Thank you for watching and please check out our website for next week's Reef Health Update.